Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to use hydrogen peroxide in your garden. These are my pepper plants in my salsa garden and you can see on some of the leaves they're turning yellow, they have marks on them and I really think they have some sort of blight. My peppers in 10 years have never gotten a disease before and lucky me they've got something. The peppers that I'm showing you now are being treated with baking soda and it's sort of holding it's sort of helping them hold their own and I think that it's working. But if you come over here to where the disease originated, these peppers are being devastated. And you can see in here just the marks on the leaves. There's specks on there and I think they have some sort of fungus or blight. And you come over here and you can just see all the leaves have fallen off. I've been treating it with baking soda. It's not working. Things are really bad. And you can look at this. this plant has actually just been sprayed down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use hydrogen peroxide, a 3% solution. This is what you buy at any um, pharmacy. It's made for human consumption and it's an antiseptic. And hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, which is one extra oxygen molecule, which is, you know, one extra molecule to water. Water is H2O. The sunlight breaks H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide down very quickly and it's that violent response of that oxygen mo molecule leaving the H2O2 that causes the antiseptic properties of hydrogen peroxide. So that's the technical way of saying I'm basically going to spray these plants down. The H2O2 is going to break down um, at a mole molecular level and that breakdown should clean the fungus off my plants. At least that's the theory I've been reading about it. So all I'm going to do is spray the plants down for five days, if that starts working, top side, underside, and really soak it down and hope that this stops the fungus that's going on. I bought the hydrogen peroxide at a pharmacy. I also bought a spray bottle and I just took the top off and put it right on here. So I'm going to do this for five days and I'm going to show you the outcome. I sprayed my peppers and a tomato plant with hydrogen peroxide. 3% solution, that's the hydrogen peroxide you can buy at a pharmacy. And this was an experiment. I want to show you the outcome. There's a lot on hydrogen peroxide, but it doesn't tell you how much to use. Most of them say you can use a 3% solution. These are the peppers that I showed you in the beginning of the video, and they were sprayed with the hydrogen peroxide. And all the burn and the browning that is from the hydrogen peroxide. So a 3% solution is just too strong. All this burn right in there, that's from the hydrogen peroxide. There is damage from the fungus originally. Now the hydrogen peroxide could have worked. I mean, it could have wiped out the fungus. However, it's also burning the plants. I also want to show you what it does to tomato plants. This was a stray tomato that was growing. It was perfectly green, just like this one a couple days ago and a soaking of hydrogen peroxide just burned out the leaves and turned it brown. So experimentally, a 3% solution is too strong for plant leaves. So I'm going to again try hydrogen peroxide, but this time I'm going to turn it into a 1.5% solution. And I believe that's just done by putting in equal parts of water. You're cutting it in half. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is really about trying something new in a garden and test spraying it. And I tested it on a tomato plant that I didn't need and peppers that were pretty damaged. Please check out my other YouTube videos and you can also check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.